Davonos and salutations to the elders and apostles of Kim Stone who rule well and the Akim doing the work of Yabashim Shah in sincerity, in faith and in truth. This is a Badana Brother Manasha DC camp of uh, another short lesson. Uh you know how it is, man. You know, 2019, the year of the Karagma. It's gonna be serious year, man, because this RFID shit. You know, the mark of the beast uh, prophecy is taking hold, man, and uh, it's not gonna stop. You know, it's part of uh, what the Lord Yahweh Shah requires to happen. And folks, uh, folks' faith are gonna be tested, man. All right, so I won't delay further. I'm just gonna go straight to the precepts. All right, so this is a book of Proverbs, chapter 24, verse 10. The tree is, if thou faint in the day of adversity, thy strength is small. All right, so it's, it's, it's going to be times, man, when uh, folks are going to have to decide, man, are you going to hold on to the words of Yahweh Hashem Shah in sincerity and in truth, or are you going to break down and give in to your flesh, you know, for fear of going hungry, for fear of your children, starving and all that stuff you know your wife is yelling and bugging out because she can't feed the children you know they can't go where they need to be you know so uh it's gonna be tough times man but the lord yeah by shima shy has told his elect that it should not uh panic you know it's no time to panic man it's time for our faith to be to be on steroid level you know, to be strengthened, to be boosted up. That's why we have the Holy Scriptures to comfort us. You know, you can't depend on this society to provide a security for you, man. Your security comes from the Lord, Yabba Hashim El Shai. All right? And we've already seen with the so-called government shut down, people's faith was shaken, man. People were crying and yelling to Trump, open back the government, please, Trump, open back the government. You know, they weren't really calling on the Lord, Yahweh Hashim Shai, to deliver us out of captivity. They were talking about, uh, you just got, you just got me to do this to help us out with poor people who are living check to check. Hey, that's part of the curses, man. You know, we should be calling on the name of the Lord, Yahweh Hashim Shai, to get us out of captivity. You know, the name of the Lord should be at the tip of our tongue. It should be. In our minds at all times, man, boy, what's Jake asking for? Crumbs, nonsense, irrelevant stuff, you know? Things that the Lord is going to sweep away in the twinkle of an eye, all right? So I'm moving to the next precept because folks need to understand that the Lord of Hashim is serious and that we need to be ready, you know, when this adversity comes upon us. So this is the book of uh, Second Peter chapter 1 1 3 verses 6 and uh, 7 says wherein ye greatly rejoice though for a season if need be ye are in heaviness through manifold temptation so we're going to be tested man but the scripture text is, says it's going to be for uh, a season you know, so we gotta know how to endure, man. This temptation is not forever. It's not an everlasting temptation. It's only gonna be brief. And the Lord Yahweh yeah, Shema Shah will get us out of it. You know, that's why we need to hold on to the words of Yahweh Shema Shah. They are faithful and true. And then verse seven says that the trial of your faith, being much more precious than fine than than of gold, that perish it. All right, so all the gold on the face of this earth, all the riches on the face of this earth cannot be compared to our faith in Yahweh Hashim El Shai. You know, how, you know, how much more the earth, you know? The earth is not, you know, you can't compare that to our faith. Yep, so that's how important the Lord values His elect. You know, the fate of his elect is more important than the universe itself. All right? 
because we were the, the universe was made for our sake, all right. And I can shouldn't uh, descend to that level that me. I'm stressed. That I'm tired. Of course, you're gonna get tired. You're gonna have uh, adversities here and there, but you shouldn't give up, man. Your faith gotta be boosted up. You know, you gotta be spiritual. You can't have faith on an economic system that is not stable. You know, it's always subject to booms and busts. You know, ups and down. The market is down. The market is up, sideways, and all that crap. That's not what our life should be about. Our life should be still when the Lord yeah, but Shima Shai. And I mean life, I mean faith. It says though it be tried with fire, the adversities we're gonna go through in time of Jacob's trouble might be found unto praise. Alright. And honor and glory are the appearing of Yahweh Shai Hamashayak. So that's the point I can, you know, you can't afford to throw away your faith, man, for a few loaves of bread, for, uh, for you know, the, the false stem bagging. You can't, you know, because there's nothing Esau can offer you, you know, that uh, can match what the Lord has in store for us. All right. And then when you look at Revelations chapter 13, you understand that uh, it's going to be tough, man. It's going to be tough, you know, the, the flesh will have to take the back seat and let the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Shai be in control. Because uh, when folks get blacklisted, you know, you, you can't uh, shop in the market. Even though you have cash in your pocket, you can't get the goods because uh, the government says we're no longer dealing with cash or coins or credit cards that folks need to have the RFID chip. And whosoever you see with a, a distributing cash, trying to use cash for transactions, please report them to your nearest authority. Yeah, folks are going to be scared, man. You know, they'll have to have faith in the Lord, yeah, but she may be shy to get them true. All right. So this Revelation chapter 13, verse 15. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. All right. That's Esau's government's structure. All right, his his legislation, his philosophy, you know, his economic uh, system. It says that, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. So whosoever doesn't go along with Esau's new world order, they're going to be branded as enemies. You know, they're going to be on that uh, kill list. You know, they're going to be hunted down, you know, wherever they are upon the face of the earth, man. Because Esau wants to make sure his new world order is established and he doesn't want any uh, pushback. But the Lord Yabba Shema is going to create that spiritual pushback and then uh, Esau will get defeated. All right, so it's beautiful, man, to see that the Lord Yabba Shema has plans for salvation, you know, for his elect. And they will have to go through this uh, this narrow passage. You know, you're looking down the barrel of a gun. You're looking at weapons, you know, being deployed, you know, in your location. Just because, you know, Esau don't want no, don't want no qualms, don't want no drama. You know, he needs to have a total control. And the Lord, the Abba Shema Shai is against him. So he needs to do everything in his might to hold people you know in, in concentration camps right and then in verse 16 it says and he caused it all both small and great rich and poor free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead so he needs to use uh, his mark of the beast to take care of business man to hold people you know keep track of people if people go out of line he can turn it up you know deem them personal non grata, you know, put them on that uh, list for his uh, his kill squad, you know, his terror squad to hunt him down, you know, to chase after them, you know, to eliminate them, to cancel them out. So that's what Esau is planning, you know, and it's going to be so messy, and this is going to be in the midst of the civil war here in America, in Babylon the Great. 
You know, so the Lord Yahabashim Hashem will let this destruction take place. You know, people going against government, the government going against the people, and then they will have to invite uh, outside forces like the UN to come hold it down, but it's not going to go as planned. You know, so the Lord Yahabashim Hashem has a lot of things planned for Babylon the Great, and it's going to take place. In verse 17 it says, And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name so whoever goes along with Esau's back of the beast system or whoever gets approved you know to participate in the system you know uh the in they're gonna be part of, you know they're gonna uh either read for a while they'll be able to buy and sell but after some time man shit's gonna hit the fan the supplies will not be able to come in because of the tensions, man, the inhabitants of this land that think they need to be free from the boots of oppression upon their neck, you know, they're going to start doing some strange things, man. They're going to start pushing back hard, you know, because you got people with different uh, backgrounds, man. Whether they're cops, whether they're doctors, lawyers. You know, truck drivers, taxi cab drivers, construction workers, military workers that know how to use weapons. They're going to do what they got to do, man. They're going to start attacking, you know, because uh, they got to feed their family. Yep, so it's going to be so crazy, man. You know, it's going to be so crazy. Folks are going to be heartbroken, you know, because uh, they have no options left but to turn into cannibalism, all right? So that's exactly what's going to be happening very soon, man, in America, you know, a.k.a. Babylon the Great. Because this mark of the beast, man, is terrible. Uh, the Lord Yabashim Hashai does not ex want us to take it, man. You know, does not uh, advise his elect to take it. All right? It's not, uh, you don't need it. It's irrelevant, you know. There was no mark of the beast when Jake was coming out of the land of Egypt, you know. So what else, you know? What, how, why is it so necessary now? So it just lets you know that the elites have plans, man, to uh, fight against Jake to get that birthright back. So this is one of their means of doing that, all right? So I got the final precept here. Here's the book of Mark, chapter 13. Uh, verse 13. And it reads, And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. So just imagine, man, you're preaching the gospel. Folks will be angry because uh, you're revealing their secrets. You know, the Spirit of the Lord is revealing what the pastors of these churches have been up to, misleading the people, telling them to go along with the government's plan to receive the mark of the beast. You know, all these so-called faith-based initiative churches that have 501c3 charter, they'll be coming against the man of the Lord, you know, telling them that, you know, that uh, the Lord is not with us, but the Lord is with us because we're teaching that uh, you can't receive the mark of the beast. You can't accept his image. You know that the only doctrine you need to hold on to is the doctrines of Yahweh Shem Shai, the doctrines of the Holy Scripture. You know the prosperity doctrine wasn't meant for Jake. You know out of uh, to be delivered out of Babylon is to hold you back. You know, and that uh, Jake doesn't want to hear, so they're going to fall into that trap. That's why the men of the Lord, you know, keep yelling day and night on the highways and byways that they need to wake up, you know, just like in the movie School Days. And then read really again, it says, that, And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake, you know, for doing things in the image of Yahweh Hashem Shai. You know, you're going to be hated vehemently, all right? Not just by your own people, but by the so-called Red Hebrew Edomites, you know, you know, come after you with their 
media with their weapons and everything you know but he that shall endure unto the end the same shall be saved you know and that goes back you know to the what Lord Yahushua says man you know if you love me you keep my commandments you're gonna carry your cross man you're gonna bear your cross you're gonna accept what comes with doing this work man you can't afford you know to be found one thing you know you want to be found diligent at the end you know just like a faithful servant you know you can't afford to be weak in the faith you have to stay steadfast all right so you know 2019 the year of the karagma you know it's just pushing this rfid chip technology this agenda is pushing it hard and uh, he will do everything necessary to make it come to fruition but at the end of the day, man, it's about the elect not taking it. You know, that's all that counts. The elect of the nation of Israel not taking the mark of the beast. You know, that's what Esau's goal is, man, to get the whole nation of Israel to take it. All right? So that's not going to happen because the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahweh will prevent it. So I say, Kal Halal Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Double honors and salutations to the elders and apostles of great mystery who well. And the Akim to the work of your Bashima Shine Sincere and Truth, fight a good fight of faith. You know, your faith will be tested, you know, at some point in time. And uh, you just gotta accept it, you know, this part of the purification, man. You know, of strengthening your faith. You know, you wanna be found uh, found diligent in these last days, you know. You wanna be found to be qualified, you know, by the blood of Yahweh Shai. To be delivered from the destruction that's coming, shall I want.